Film back to another match preview and it's time for an international match preview. It's Scotland taking on Austria, which... Whoa, brother, testify. It's the start of our 2022 World Cup qualifiers, which... I don't know, I'm actually not that bored with an international break. Usually I'm pissed off, but I feel like the season in real life, it's kind of just at the need that we need an international break. We've won, I mean, we won the league a couple of weeks ago. Pumped out of Europe, which was, I mean, that's just fucking pissed. I'm still pissed off about that, so this is a well-deserved break, I think, because, you know, but we'll probably be pissed off here. We are taking on Austria, Israel and the Faroe Islands, but today's match preview is against Austria. Austria were having problems with their Bundesliga players, looked like they wouldn't be able to travel, but they will be able to travel, so there's that. But in terms of us, what way are we going to line up? Now, there is a few people who haven't been picked from the um, the squad, the earlier squads, like Shankland is not there, Lee Griffiths is not there, which I'm fine with. I mean, the guy's a fat, lazy bastard and a scumbag at that, so you shouldn't really be anywhere near this team, brother testify that but we do have the likes of Nesbitt in there we do have Shea I mean but McBurney why is McBurney in there McBurney's shit I couldn't care if he supports Rangers that doesn't I mean that doesn't change the fact you're pish <laughs> you know um I'd say our best player at the minute is Tierney that's just the way the uh the cookie crumbles at the end of the day but in terms of a starting 11 here I mean it is hard to choose I think He'll probably go with Marshall. I wish McGregor came out of retirement. I get why he doesn't. I mean, he is 39. I mean, that is getting on, like, especially if you fucking... Well, that's getting on in club career, let alone international. Um, but the thing is, is he going to go with five at the back? Is he going to go with four at the back, you know, to, to facilitate Tierney and Robertson? Like, in my opinion, you've got to play both of them. But if you were going to drop one, I, it, it would be Robertson. I think Tierney's better than Robertson. And this isn't just like a, a, an Arsenal bias. I mean, the guy used to play for Celtic, so I mean, I should technically be burying the guy, but no, you can't deny the guy. You know, he's great. He's fucking, I'd say he's probably right now the best left back in the Premier League. You know? Robertson's definitely up there. It's just, I think Robertson is a bit overrated because of Liverpool's success over the last year, so everyone who plays for them will be automatically rated a lot higher than everyone else. But I think we'll probably just go with four at the back. If we are going to do that, I'd play Tierney. I mean, I'd rather play Tierney right back than Stephen O'Donnell or Liam Palmer. That 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 ship has sailed for like Palmer. I mean, at least with O'Donnell, he's only recently come into the squad. But why not take a risk on Nathan Patterson? Like, I, I, the guy's nineteen, you know, really promising. I'd take a risk on him. He's better than Palmer. He's better than O'Donnell. And if even if people don't agree with that, he's better than them. At least the guy, he's nine. He's got potential with these two. You kind of know what you're getting. You know? Like, and that's another thing. Like, it's like with McBurney. The guy's had enough chances now. Bring someone else into the team. Same with Fleck. Like, how's Fleck being picked over Turnbull or Gilmore? Like, that's just a joke in itself. Like, I, I, I honestly, like, I just... I, I, same with Mc, I don't... Kenny McLean's no bad, but... Come on. I don't think he should be near the, the, the squad at the minute. Our midfield's by far the strongest part of the team. You know, and I don't feel like he should be there. And also left back, you know, definitely um, left back. But we are playing Austria at home. I mean, the group is like it is a relatively a bit of a tough one, but we did get a lot off easy because I think it's a winnable group. I mean, we've got Austria, Denmark, Israel, Faroe Islands, who else? Moldova, I think's the other team. So you, you look at it like that, you know. And if we have ambitions of winning this group. Or even qualifying, I think we need to be beating us three here. And the fact we're at home, we're at Hamden. Yes, it's an empty Hamden, but we're still at Hamden, guys. We've still got to factor that stuff in. I think we will win. And I'm going to go with a 1-0 win. I don't know who's going to get the goal. Will it be Shea Adams? Will Shea Adams even start? I mean, personally, I think he's got to start. Well, I say he's got to start. I, I, I'm just saying this, like, well, South haven't happened shit recently. I don't know. Personally, Fraser and Dykes was working, so I'd maybe go with that. But if he, does, if he doesn't want to go with that, maybe just stick Shea. I mean, I definitely want to see Shea Adams feature in at least one of these three games, you know. But, yeah, I mean, realistically, across these three games, 
we should be aiming for about seven points. Or at like six or seven points. At least. At least. Like, Israel has been a bit of a bogey team recently, and I'm kind of sick of facing them. But, you know what, if we beat Austria, beat Faroe Islands, draw away Israel, I'd probably take that right now. But yeah, hopefully we can, guys. But I'm going 1-0. You know what, for the goal, I'll go with John McGinn. Super John McGinn.